In this video I'm going to show how Sonic Workspace can generate documentation for your designs. What I have open at the moment is the firmware example design that ships with Sonic. You will notice that all of the files are active at the moment, indicating that they will be part of your documentation. When you go to the documentation tab, you will see nothing the first time. To generate your documentation, click on the generate button in the bottom right of the screen. When you click on it, you will notice a task appear in the top right. You can click on the green arrow next to the task name to see the background processes output. Documentation generation is based on the, doc on the Doxygen backend. So this is the back output of the Doxygen task. When you close this task log, you will notice that the documentation has been generated. What you see here is the front page, which is based on a template that you can define. To see the log of the Doxygen process, you can click on Show Log in the bottom right of the screen. We should show you the output log. And you can also see the doxy file that was used to generate this documentation. You will notice that Sonic Workspace will populate this file with everything that's necessary for your design and your design type. Notice that this is for a VHDL design because we are using a firmware design. If your design in Sonic Workspace is a software design, it will change that to be for documentation for a software design. When you look at the output, you will notice that it's standard oxygen output, customized to fit into our, our application. So when you click on different things, you can view a design unit list, packages, etc. Let's go and click on the example design top level to see a nice graph showing all the architectures and entities in our design. You can click on any of these to see details of the item you selected. If you go down here, you will see the ports all documented, with some generics as well. And you can also go down and you can see the full file that was part of your design. Next I want to show the template editing. When you click on settings in the bottom right, you'll notice that the first thing we see now is the front page. So that's the front page that's used for your design. You can change anything in here or you can change, customize it for your own company or for your own team. And you will notice that there's some macros that will be replaced with details from the design you're targeting. You can also go in a drop down box and you can select doxy file that will show you the doxy file template that's used to generate your documentation. So you can change this as well. 